Hi and welcome back to Tung Suang Mushroom Farm. Um, today's video is a request from some of my subscribers. I, I did a video last week covering the humidifier which I've just installed into our grow cells um, and a few people have asked for more details so this is going to be a, a more detailed breakdown of how I built the humidifier how it works and hopefully people are, are then able to build their own based on what I've done. Um, depending on where you are in the world you might not be able to get all the same bits but generally from experience I've built one here in Thailand and I've also built one back in the UK and I think the bits are available even if you end up shipping them from China or such like. But yeah I hope this video helps and I'll uh, just flip the camera around and show you in more detail the whole system okay so this is the main unit which consists of and and most of these items you can get online um, or, or from a DIY store um, you, the fog is gen generally seem to be the more difficult thing to get hold of so I would suggest Amazon Lazada eBay maybe um, but search around I'll also put some links on the uh, page as well so we've got a 60 litre plastic tub with a, a, a lid that you can lock on um, I would suggest that you want 60 to 100 litre tub the uh, then there's the four inch inline fan here there's four inch duct in going from the inlet fan into the lid now what I did with the lid is I I got a um, four inch core drill cut a hole in the lid and then siliconed in some um, vents which I'll show you on the inside when I open up um, now th this system needs a power source and you need power for the transformer that runs the fogger and also power for the fan now because they both come on at the same time what I've done is just made up a, a, a double socket which um, both the fan and the fogger plug into then that socket runs over to the son off switch um, which I can then program timing so it can either on here you've got a manual switch so you can just turn it on and off like so um, or you can program it through the Sonoff app which I'll do another video on um, they're great little switches I've had issues with them in the past um, pairing them up but once you've got the knack it's it's relatively easy and, and they're really really reliable once you've set them up as long as you've got um, an internet connection um, okay so that's kind of the, the, the basic setup the uh, something to be aware of it when you buy a pond fogger there's um, different options but make sure if you, if you get a pond fogger I would recommend you get one that's got at least six discs this one's got ten um, but some of them you'll find don't actually have um, the transformer so just double check it, it comes with a transformer if it doesn't f source elsewhere or make sure you order a transformer um, but I'll, again I'll put links to that anyway so I'll just clear some of this out of the way and then we can open the system up so inside so, so this is inside the um, system you can see it's half full so there's probably 30 litres of water in there which is coming from a, a reserve tank which I use RO water I put a ball, ball valve there so the system automatically tops itself up um, when the level drops I would recommend that you go for this setup uh, from experience I've had the pond foggers that come with a float the problem with th those is that there's sometimes because they're floating in, in inside the tank that as the water level drops the power cable can get snagged 
and it, it just if it gets snagged then the system can switch off and it, you know it could be off all night before you realize whereas this as long as the reserve tank is kept full or to a good level um, less likely to have problems it, it they just operate better in my opinion at keeping the tank at a constant level and uh, you know that's from over a year it, over a year's experience in doing this so that that's the setup inside cable comes back out and there's the and if you look inside the lid this is where the fan blows in so I've just put a little um, grill there um, and then that's the outlet going th into the pipe system so that's the, the main main system and then I've got the feed here so we've just simply got a hose pipe with a clip connector readily available in DIY stores or you can get them online and then that hose then goes to the um, reserve tank which I've got on a tap there you just pop this open um, and I, I just top this up um, I'm not in full operation yet but um, I would say it's that tank I would imagine it's probably going to get about two days out of that um, but I'll, I'll fill it up every day now I have mentioned before I I put RO water in this uh, reverse osmosis because we've got a a filter on on the farm because because we need it for drinking water um, you can use normal tap water depends what country you're in but it does burn the discs out in the fogger quicker so just something to be aware of so i, I hope that helps um thanks to my subscribers who've asked for a more detailed breakdown hope this helps i'll also try and get some of this um translated into thai as the request came from some thai subscribers um but any any other subscribers if you've got any questions just ask and i'll try my best to help okay hope that helps bye for now right i just wanted to show you how effective this humidifier really is so it's been running up for a couple of minutes now so i'm going to open the lid of of the grow cell and it'll give you an idea of how how good this system is especially with the fact that these cells are pretty well sealed um, so I'll flip the camera around so you can see it okay so you can see that the cells are, have got positive air pressure in them because of the fact that the the polythene lid is raised but um, once I open you'll see the amount of fog we're actually generating uh, which keeps the humidity right up I think you can get a pretty good idea of what we're generating there um, it doesn't need to be at that level but it's just really proving the point of how effective these systems are especially if you're using a 10 disc fogger um, there we go